The reason why I'm here talking as a minister is because of His Excellency Edgar Chagua Lung. And I want to declare for those people who have been saying, no, Bomani is a bootlicker. I am the number one bootlicker for His Excellency Edgar Chagua Lung. <laughs> My president, your president, our president, Edika Chagwa Lungu, my president, your president. still going, those people are celebrated, let them celebrate, mm. and we are going to love at last. Mm. Let, let, let's all learn from this. Uh, uh, not really, because uh, we have been in politics for quite some time, and this is not the first time we have attended the uh, uh, petition, even in 2016, who had the petition, and we won uh, the petition. And I can assure you that uh, as we go, there are other lessons which we learn, and we have learned something both uh, from our political opponents and also from the judiciary. But I can assure you that as a law abiding citizen, I respect the judiciary. I know exactly the importance of a judiciary in our country. So we have learned a lot. We have learned a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Boman Lusambo speaking just after his uh, seat uh, was uh, nullified by the Ndola High Court uh, by Judge uh, Edward Musona following a lengthy court process in which uh, the UPND's uh, Bernard Kanengo had petitioned the election of Mr. Lusambo citing uh, mass alleged corrupt uh, practices uh, uh, as well as uh, violence so after a series of court appearances, it has all ended in this nullification. It has been quite a lengthy um, uh, the, the delivery of the statement of facts by Judge uh, Edward Musona, and some of the striking issues that were in the in, in the in the statements of facts were the issue of uh, violence. Violence is something that. The court says it had overwhelming evidence in which Mr. Lusambo's um, famous NATO forces is alleged to have caused a lot of brutality in that area, hence causing, uh, hence uh, instilling fear in the people of Kabushi. So, with the courts, they view that uh, uh, that dictated the outcome of the Kabushi constituency seat in the sense that a lot of people were intimidated, such as. Uh, uh, the, uh, the the petitioner himself who uh, brought the allegations before court that he was not given a chance to fairly campaign because each time his campaign tra trail was given the, ti the time uh, to campaign he was uh, uh, he was stopped by the NATO forces led by uh, Mr. Lusambo's uh, team. So the court has found overwhelming evidence from the NATO forces, a very famous group that was known here in Dola on the Copper Belt province. So this team that accompanied Mr. Lusambo most of the time is what has uh, caused him this nullification. <laughs> Manisha, I'm 
Fantástica! We are not going to allow this lawlessness to continue. And I want to urge Kings Malembe Malembe. I want to urge the cameraman. I don't know if it's what's the name, whatever the name is. I want to urge Bifro and his team that can you desist from bringing the name of the country, the name of government into disrepute. And this is stupidity at its highest level. And we're not going to allow this here in Lusaka province. And I want to urge Kings Malembe Malembe that I'm giving him 24 hours to apologize to the president for releasing those stinking nonsense direct into the office of the presidency. Let him withdraw. <laughs> I've been telling you that Kabushi is done and dusted. We have nothing to compete for in Kabushi constituency. For us, we are working to add more numbers to His Excellency Edgar Chagalungu in other constituencies, not Kabushi constituency. Kabushi constituency is a done deal. So for me, as a member of parliament or a candidate for PF in Kabushi constituency, I can assure you that uh, I'm very comfortable. Uh, I'm sitting in a comfort zone. Gary! <laughs> Gary! <laughs> I can assure you that uh, the things which were in Bill 10, they were very progressive. What was progressive in Bill 10? One, we wanted uh, Zambia as a Christian nation to be enshrined in our constitution. And that was progressive. It is in the constitution. Enshrined in the constitution. We wanted to be enshrined in the constitution. It's in the constitution. The issue to do with the, uh, the youth. Okay. Bring the youth to Kabushi constituency. You'll be bruised because you have no capacity to fight with a bulldozer. Okay? But as a country, we wanted youths to be, uh, uh, to be represented in parliament. How? To have uh, a, a, a mixed uh, uh, thing. Uh, that is deceptive, Honorable, because as, as a country, what we are a signatory to uh, a charter uh, in terms of Luque. representation. Uh, 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 let me just put this uh, Luque, out. Me, Equal representation. Are you, we are supposed to, are you reach, aware that, we are supposed to reach 30% of women are you aware that, in parliament. We are aware, reach that. Are you aware that I'm a minister? I am and, aware. And are you aware that I'm a member of parliament? I am aware. And you are being those, dishonest about it. Those because things, in parliament, I'm not dishonest. As a country, we have signed eh? up to a charter that we must have at least, at least, 30% uh -huh. exactly. representation of women in parliament. But we, we, we subject them to what? We haven't reached 30%. We, we are subject them to, to we competition. We haven't reached 30%. We subject them to competition. We haven't reached 30%. Why? So do we need to have another piece of legislation that we are not going to We wanted to reach that, uh, 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 that uh, levels by allowing women to have less competition. Less so competition. the less competitive you are, the less um, 
credible. Uh, you, you are just giving people based on no, their gender. We as will not to just. Their, what about the youth? As opposed to their activities no, look or here. their capabilities. The Bill 10, I can assure you that Bill 10 has a very progressive form. But the one uh, you're talking about mixed. Uh, oh, the mixed representation, representation proportion. Let's, that let's, is, let's not even use that. Because we wanted that, us that to, we wanted, here, wanted to use what? If you have enough political will, mm. you yourself joined mm. uh, Parliament mm. yeah. as a youth. You did not have Bill 10. I, but you I are fought. I fought. Fought. Yes, yes, I fought. You competed. Because I had capacity. Because I had capacity. Yes. Because I had capacity. People need to have the capacity. Do they not? But we wanted the youths to come in and get uh, the free ride so that they can represent their people. So you wanted to encourage laziness? Not laziness. A free ride is laziness. Not laziness. And there's no such thing as a free ride. I you mean, yourself, who has worked very hard in your life, knows that. And you have this is what I'm saying, but, but, but I can assure you that the, the clauses which, uh, 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 the clauses to do with the youth, the clauses to do with uh, the women, it was very progressive. The clauses to do with uh, Zambia as a Christian nation, it was very progressive. The clauses to do with the uh, delimitation of um, uh, constituencies, constituencies, it was very progressive. Uh, the... <laughs> Allá para abrir el restaurante que era el arroz. Y me llama el cocinero. Recita, ¿qué? Ve por la paellera. Venga, que a las dos de la tarde ya están aquí. Mira el bañador. Las chanclas. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme las chanclas y el bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. <risa> Eso. <risa> failing to understand i'm feeling hard to understand because mm. at the time you are sympathizing with the pf mm. with the with mmd inflation mm. was around six mm. to eight exactly right? we that are accepting that, look that, that means as government that means as government as government, government, as government that means honorable as, that as from government, Kwacha, as I, would government buy, I would buy a number of things from mm. Andrew Kwacha. yes I would that buy was then from, from mmd because uh, by the time now, when in, uh, inflation is times two that is about around 15 uh, 15% exactly and and there's so much need to i can buy from a 100 quarter mm. Exp i'm mm. finding hard on how you're explaining honorable on how you wanted things were better. Uh, you wanted uh, the the, the mid meal to, to uh, be at 20 quarter I would, I would have expected things to be to to to, 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 to go at 20 quarter not, not to worsen uh, as things are now to, to go at 20 quarter even lesser than that no it can't happen leadership leadership there's something wrong with the leadership it's that simple there's no two ways about it. There's just something wrong with the leadership. As leaders, we must begin to pull our socks up. Province. <laughs> 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 <la
Damudi like, you are put in a pack of your year, good night, old year. What are you implying? What I'm saying is, mm. for me, mm. we have tested this power. Mm. It's not easy for us to just say, okay, send them. You know, for me, Nadi Women Day. Pari Women Day, for now, I mean, ever is the reports for the people. Pari Lushida, my elections. Pari Lushida, my elections. No, please, I didn't read the sun. So you are saying uh, winning the election at all costs. We are going to win the election at all costs. Kings Marende Marende. That is not uh, oppressing Kings Marende Marende Marende's uh, freedom of uh, uh, the right to freedom of uh, speech. He's my brother. That's why when he did that, I came out like that and I caught him immediately. And he came to my house. That's I fine. I sat down with him. Um. I talked to him. And I did not at uh, I did not attack uh, the musicians. I talked to my brother. I can choose to talk to my brother in any way I feel like, as long as he gets my advice. So there was no arrogance to any person or any organization. Honorable, you you to my you brother. asked uh, you asked uh, why, Honorable you asked why, Brian B. Flo. At the end of the day. If you can bring things Marende Marende here, he will tell you that the relationship which I have with the uh, Honorable Sambo, it is not a relationship about a minister and the musician. Okay. It's a brother to brother. Okay, that's fine. And now, what we... Which I have mm. with for Kings Marende Marende, all of you there, and most of Zambians, they cannot understand. So it's very wrong to generalize the things which was directed on one person. Go go through that uh, the press briefing which I had. I referred to King Malende Malende. Now, Mr. 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 Lusambo, you, you refer to Brian. Put the, the, Mr. Put the eggs Honorable Lusambo, you, you're going to have to let us talk to you. You can't talk the whole time. We need to speak. It's a conversation. Please. Yes. You say Brian is putting the country's reputation into disrepute. How is he doing that? I by airing his views. Get me right. And I don't want you to misquote any other person. I said I was once a young man. And there are things which I did. Uh, I almost the uh, foreign from the 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 the, 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 the normal past. So when I see my young fellow brothers trying to pass through the same path which I went in through, I can't just sit and ignore. I advise. Mutare, you know me. Mutare is not uh, a long uh, long long away you are in copper belt. You know who is Boman Lusambo is. You know him. Yes, I, I do. Once read very powerful youth wing in the country. Honorable, we... Yes, just put your phone properly, you please, you're breaking. Seeing a lot of things which initiated by this youth, youth wing, things to do with overalls, being copied by other political parties in this country. So don't talk about musicians here. You talk about King Z, talk about if it's brand, talk about brand. Don't bring in the issue of musician. Remove the issue of musician. I did not uh, address musician. Honorable Usambo, you musician. talked about Brian. Honorable Usambo. About this musician. Ask them. You talked about I Brian. The person who has been uh, 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 promoting musicians in this country. We understand that, and which is why we are shocked. Why would you say, Honorable, Honorable, why, why would you say that Brian is putting the country into dis... Look at Mutare, you are a presenter there. Don't incite things which is not there. The issue at hand here is me and him, not musicians. Honorable. Hello? Honorable.
Honor Bolusambo. Honor Bolusambo, we're having a conversation. Yes. If you're not going to listen to what I'm asking you, we're going to cut no, you off I because you can't be I talking can. the whole time. Yeah, ask me. Do you want to have a conversation or do you want to keep talking? Ask me. Okay. I'm here. I asked you a simple question. You say Brian is putting this country into disrepute because I he made a video highlight. Said, Are you going? Allow me I to finish my question, right. Honorable. Allow I me to finish my question. Right. Listen, listen to I understand and I don't listen to right. respond. I said. I'm okay, we, we can't right. be, we can't I both be talking at the same time. We're going to cut you off. When you're ready to understand and listen, we will give you a platform and we'll engage you. We are, you we are cutting you off. I'm to no, we're cutting you off. Thank you. Thanks for calling because you don't want to listen. You need to listen to understand, not listen to respond, honorable. We are cutting you off with all due respect. Thank you so much for calling the show. Belt Minister Borman Lusambo and Ron Member of Parliament Chishimba Kambwili's visit to Kapalala Market have clashed causing a standoff at the market. Mr. Kambwili had his meeting in Kabushi prematurely cut off by suspected patriotic front cutters but decided to proceed to Kapalala market to interact with the traders. However, Mr. Lusambo also headed to the market declaring Kabushi constituency a no-go area for Mr. Kambwili and the National Democratic Congress Secretary General Mwenyam Senge. The reason why I'm here talking as a minister it's because of His Excellency Edgar Chagwa Lung. And I want to declare for those people who have been saying, no, Bomani is a bootlicker. I am the number one bootlicker for His Excellency Edgar Chagwa Lung. My president, your president, our president, wow. Edgar Chagwa Lungu, 